Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to got something that got something a little bit different for you. Bit of a spoiler on the screen. Not much I can do about it. Uh, but this is my friend Don Hayes, aka Jack, has done a top 100 video game tracks that is his personal favorite. As you can see, this video is five hours and 55 minutes long, so I'll be splitting this into multiple videos. But yeah, this is something that he's been working on for a while. Um, obviously I did mine and I know this is going to be very very different and I've been really really excited to see this and hear it basically so I, there's a couple of tracks I'm expecting to hear in this list which I'll keep to myself if they don't come up I'll, I'll you know make a point of it but um, I don't want to I don't want to hang around much further let's just crack on with it let's have a listen to what he's chosen and I'll pause it and stuff and go along and talk about my thoughts and feelings on it as we go so let's crack on with it then and we'll start with uh, track number 100 which is Perilous Quest He's even got the composer here, which I can really respect. I should have been better at that myself. And this is from Age of Wonders. This has got a 90s PC sound to it. Oh, that MIDI. Oh, no. The advert. Not, not much I can do about the adverts, I'm afraid, if they pop up. Now, I have played Age of Wonders. One of them. <laughs> this is a good track. I don't recognize it. For context, this game's very much like the Might and Magic series. It's like a turn based um, game where you have like heroes and troops and you fight other people and collect resources and stuff. It's, it's not exactly the same, but it has very similar vibes. Oh, okay, now we're going into like what sounds like an N64 game. I like it. <laughs> oh, I, I'm loving the early MIDI. I'm genuinely surprised he's put this on his list just because of the sound quality. Like, I imagine he would love to hear this done in a, in a modern style. Oh, this is giving me flashbacks to like really like late 90s, early 2000s games. Also, just so you guys know, I am kind of like keeping my own list, uh, or will be, um, so that I know what's going on here. <laughs> so I can talk about stuff. I give him credit, right? He started this list off really well. I was not expecting to hear something this cool. And it's not something that's meant to be on his list either. Golden Axe. This is giving me Golden Axe vibes. That's why I was like, this has got a thing going on. This is very different to Might and Magic. To be honest, this doesn't sound anything like my magic. Castlevania vibes, that's what I'm getting from it as well. This is a good tune. I'm not sure that I'd put this in a strategy game, but I like it. Like, I definitely like it. It just keeps going as well. <laughs> Makes me think that most of these tracks he's picked are long ones, hence the, the length of the video. <laughs> I've, I have a feeling this is one of these tracks that plays in the game like no matter what you're doing. It's like it's just like how Starcraft 2 and a lot of RTS games did it. They just had a piece of music play no matter what you were doing and then it would go to the next track. I could be wrong, but having played some of the other um, Age of Wonder games, that's kind of what it feels like they're probably doing this. Michael, Michael Vanderboss, that name rings a bell, but I can't think who, what else he's done. He might be one of those people that worked on Unreal Tournament. This has got that kind of Unreal Tournament 99 vibes. 
It's not like do do do. That do do do. Sounds very much like it could be a other tournament. How long is this track? Christ! <laughs> I'm like genuinely surprised that it's this long. It's good. It's a good tune. Encompasses a lot of different ups and downs as well. It's work well in a D&D style game. Like any kind of RPG. Okay, look. Straight up. Good tune. Great way to start. Um, loving that original MIDI and stuff. So, cool. Let's uh, let me just pull up my um, notepad quickly here. Uh, so I know. So when I look back at these, uh, I know what I'm looking for. Um, so let's let's hit to the next track, see where we're going. Oh, surprise, surprise, here are three. Necropolis Town. Okay. That's not a tune I was expecting to be here. I can already tell you right now this is not the tune I would pick for <laughs> from Heroes 3, but... I do remember him saying about liking. If he's put Necropolis Town in it, it makes me think that either the Stronghold Town or the Haven Town are also in here. Possibly. But we'll see. I'm brutally honest right now, this is not a track I would have ever come close to my top 100. It's got a very particular vibe. But there is, in my opinion, there's a lot better music in Heroes 3. The battle music's really good. Some of the other towns are really, like, better. This is very, um, Baroque. It's got a very Baroque feel. Very, like, very uneasy feel. Very, very much on the edge. Nice to see that this game is actually in this list, though. Um, because that was something I was, I was being like, you can't put that in there. It's not a bad track, it's just... If you've heard the soundtrack for Heroes 3, I, I really... I would struggle to put this higher than some of many, many other tracks. But you can also hear that improvement of audio chips. Like, maybe Age of Wonders came out before this, I don't know, but... The, the, the audio quality, the sounds that they're using, sound a bit more like real instruments. There's still a lot of MIDI going on here, but... So, best bit of the tune. <laughs> Nice use of harpsichord. Yeah. Not not a track I would have. What? What? What the fuck? What? I was not expecting this. What? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Like, let's, let's let this play a minute. Like... I am, I am shocked. I am actually shocked to find Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts on this list. What? What the? F what? <laughs> I'm speechless. What? <laughs> oh my god! Like Kingdom Hearts has some fantastic music, like really, really good music. Did I expect Jack? to put Kingdom Hearts music in this list? Absolutely not. That's the last game I would have expected. <laughs> this uh, Good choice of track. Again, not my favourite, but this is a very iconic piece of music that plays throughout these games. Big up to uh, Yoko Shinomura. Fucking great composer. I'm... I'm... Sh I <laughs> I'm literally speechless. It's the sort of thing I would put on my list. Not maybe this track, but it would have been me that would have put this on the list. 
No. <laughs> Man. Wow. I have to message him. <laughs> like, dude, what the fuck? Oh, this has completely thrown me off of what this list what's gonna be on this list now. Like there are there are games I'm expecting to be here. I don't wanna say anything because you know, let's let let, let let the video speak for itself. But I would recommend if you've never listened to a Kingdom Hearts soundtrack, go and check them out. I've got the um Kingdom Hearts game on Switch. The uh, music one. And you basically, it's a rhythm game, you play for all of them. Wow. Just shocked, man. And that's what I wanted from this list. I wanted something. It already started off on a positive note of Age of Wonders. That was a good choice. Then we had Heroes 3. Not really to my liking. Of that particular track. I think there's better music. Bam! Fucking truck to the face with this. I'm like, what? This is the literally the last thing I would have expected. All right, what, what we got next? What, am I going to be surprised again? Not surprised at the game. I did think that this was going to end up on here somewhere. Hard, it's, this is hard for me. This gives me Ori and the Blind Forest vibes. That's a game that I've played that's maybe got similar vibes to it. Not necessarily the same type of game. Would I have put this over Kingdom Hearts though? I guess the, the, the difference is I haven't played this game. This is a cool piece of music. I haven't played this, but I dearly beloved it's like iconic. I'm just sitting here and absorbing the track. As this is a first time hearing it, like, I, I like it, but it's not really pulling me in any direction at the moment. I don't know if this track's still building. Nice use of brass there. Really, like, build that. That kind of, like, loud to soft noise. I think, I think I'm expecting something that's not going to happen. Well, the track's building now. We're getting there, but I don't. I'm expecting it to really hit a climax, I'm, and I'm, I'm wondering if it's actually going to do that. There it is. That's what I was waiting for. Nice use of the low string instruments as well, that wom wom wom. Wait, that's it? Oh no, oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, was not expecting this. Oh! Interesting. That's not how I know it by. I know it's um, Castle Jam, is how I know the track, but two mandolins? Uh, banger. This is definitely a, a nostalgic pick, like for sure. Like, I know he, he's told me beforehand that try to avoid nostalgia, but come on, come on, it's stronghold. <laughs> now, I'm gonna I'm gonna write down Castle Jam because that's how I know it. I don't know it as two mandolins, but that's clearly what the version that he's got there. Um, oh, this is such a good tune. 
If you've not played Stronghold, alright, it might be quite hard to understand what this track is like, but it, it fits the mood. Medieval town, people working away, jolly old life. This plays be between battles happening. Great game. Also, probably the best piece of music from this game. So if he puts anything higher than this, I will be surprised. Do, 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 do. I totally play Stronghold now. <laughs> I love this track. Problem is, whatever follows this, unless it's like significantly better, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> respect these guys playing these mandolins because they're not stopping. That guy playing the lead part is just just constant. I love it. Somebody else do this. Yeah, this is a this is a really good track. 96 though, Jack. Some of this stuff better be like top tier after this. I really like this track. So good. Nice un unexpected as well. All right. What are you give? Really? Okay. <laughs> I mm, I don't like this track at all. I yeah. This is one of my least favorite stronghold tracks. It's not that it's not emotional. It actually conveys emotion really well, this track. It... it <sighs> for a strategy game, slow music doesn't really do it for me. If this game was turn-based, I think it would work a lot better. But... Yeah. It's not... It's not awful... I, I, it is memorable. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But Oof. Over Castle Jam. It's going to be really interesting talking to him about all this stuff. Because already, he's putting some absolute bangers on this list. And then followed it up with stuff. I'm like, oh... about you but it doesn't really get me excited when I'm playing a strategy game. If this was just like cutscene music, I think it would work really well. I get the point of the track is to play on some of the later missions when you've had to deal with being attacked by other enemies, trying to rebuild, things like that, food, loss of food, things. Like it has its place, for sure, but again, over Castle Jam, I don't think so. Here's the difference. Castle Jam makes me want to play Stronghold. This song does not make me want to play Stronghold. You could take this out of the game and it wouldn't affect the, my game, the enjoyment of the game. There are other bits of music I think I would rather hear. Um, but I respect the track. Like, I need to make that clear. You know, I might not like it. I might not have it on the list, but I appreciate the emotion. I, c I, I would kind of imagine this is it for Stronghold. 
I could be massively off there, but I don't think if you if you pick this in Castle Jam, I don't see much else getting put on from there. Unless it's like from Stronghold Crusader, but I kind of find that odd. But I wasn't expecting Stronghold. I'll give you that. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be on this list. The urge to skip this track is like... <laughs> but I won't do it. Dota Underlords. Okay, this is new to me. This actually sounds like it's out of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I assume this is trying to be like purveying evil or thievery or something along those lines it's got a very like disney feel to it pick the like, disney not Disney pixar but like yeah like a disney feel that's why i think i'm getting kingdom hearts vibes from it all right we've got a bit of a beat coming in This is, by the way, this is, so far this list is pretty much how I, apart from Perilous Quest, which is not what I was expecting, everything else that has the kind of orchestral vibe to it, I know what he's into. I'm expecting a lot of music like this, or, you know, along with a lot more traditional instruments rather than the, um, either chip tune, which I'm expecting none of, or, um, like, heavier stuff. Maybe some electronic stuff. Maybe. There is one track I, I feel that could be on this list. But we'll see. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Not a game I was expecting to see on the list. Um, I have played this game. Uh, to quickly going back to that Dota Underlords one, don't know how to feel about it, quite indifferent. It wasn't bad, but... Okay. Yeah, I like this. listening and absorbing <clears throat> I, I hope this track builds because I, I want a, I want it to move I want it to move forward we're getting there Bringing in those strings. Keeps building. I'm, I'm waiting for some actual like drums or something to push this along. All I'm getting is a build and a build and a build and a build and a build. frustrating i wanted i wanted like kind of like how the halo theme is you know how it builds and builds and builds and then like boof like you get the explosion i didn't get that with that track oh i know this one
Here's the electronic music I was talking about, but it's not the one I was expecting. Vocals, so I wasn't expecting. No, I wasn't expecting a track with vocals on this list, I should say. I do regularly know this song. This track is doing a lot of things to stop me from liking it right now. <laughs> if I, I I absolutely hate like vocal like vocoders and, and um, auto tune and stuff that really puts me off a track. And this track has got plenty of that. <laughs> so, hmm. You know what? I think this would have been better as an instrumental. Straight up. Yeah, it's not doing anything for me. This is unfortunate. Like, I think... It reminds me, weirdly enough, of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit's intro. I can't know what the song is, but the way it starts... I think it's by 30 Seconds to Mars. Just the beginning bit of that track. I get having, like, very distorted electronic effects and stuff in this track, but if this is... If this is the intro... I don't know where this track plays, whether it's, like, the intro or something. It doesn't really have that kind of... Oomph! That maybe I'd expect from a track like this. Like this, this doesn't scream to me cyberpunk at all. This song, like you know, Saints Row three or four has a more cyberpunky sounding track than this. This does. Mm. Yeah, not definitely not a fan of that. Which is a shame because I think the game's got some decent music. Hello. Some more singing. Maybe there's a lot of music I missed in this game. But if this is an instrumental, which it probably isn't. <laughs> it's already better. I want to make a point, by the way. I'm not criticizing Jack's list. All right? He obviously loves these tracks. I'm only I'm only criticizing the songs because they don't do anything for me. Which once after this one, we're gonna pause it. We're gonna look at those those first ten, and I give you my full breakdown on all these tracks. See this this sounds like cyberpunk. This is what I expect. I also, when I said I was expecting an elect at least one electronic track on there, I've now been, that point has been proven. There's electronic stuff on here. No idea where this plays in the game. Might be one of the clubs. Oh my god, it's Tarantula all over again! Just realised! I wonder if this is one of 
to listen. I want to be tracked to the ones that are on the radio because I've not not really not listened to much of the radio station in game. No, there are some good tunes on there. Wop, 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 wop. Where's the, where's the bass in this part of the track? <laughs> they had a drop with no bass. What the fuck? What? This is such an odd, odd part of the song. Curious to see what this plays. Be like a, you, you can definitely see yourself driving to it. leave that on the screen like that for a sec so let's let's talk about these first 10 tracks that he's put in this list because i have some things to say all right perilous quest being at number 100 is odd to me and the reason i say that is i think that's better than a lot of the stuff that's on this list so far like heroes free great soundtrack necropolis town is that better than perilous quest no i would easily swap those two uh dearly beloved i i, I it's a weird one because it's a very slow piano piece very iconic but i think i would swap that with kenna kina um the so perilous quest i really liked it very long track but really liked it had a lot of emotion here is a free necropolis town i know that track but it's not I just think there's stronger pieces of music in the game. And there's a good chance he's going to put more Heroes 3 in this. But uh, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely not over Paradise Quest. That was that was really good. Even with the very early uh, MIDI sounds. Diddy Beloved, really, really good. Uh, I'm probably a little bit biased on that one. The uh, Kenner track, the issue I had was that it was a good piece of music there, but there was no... The progression stopped too early. So as soon as that track was progressing and we were moving with the music it ended and it was like oh that was very abrupt so yeah it's an interesting there but i would definitely put dilly beloved above that strong old castle jam absolute banger i got no issues with that but i would definitely put that above sad times i think it's a better track um don't or underlords i got i have no feelings towards whatsoever don't just didn't do and i neither felt like disappointed by it or oh that's really good like it did nothing for me um so that was quite interesting. Horizon Zero Dawn, same problem. The the Kenna track was building and building and building and building and then stopped. I was I wanted more drums. I wanted that drive in that track, you know, but it didn't happen. And then the cyberpunk tracks, Dirty Roses definitely sounds very cyberpunky. Night City, <laughs> like that. Unfortunately, that's just a piece of music that just it, it hits all the wrong buttons for me. Um, I would definitely. I think Perilous out of this list so far, Perilous Quest. Dearly Beloved, Castle Jam, uh, Alloy's Theme, and Dirty Roses. I would have put them way towards 91. And, and then the rest of the stuff, over 100 and stuff are there. But um, yeah, interesting start so far. Dearly Beloved being our biggest surprise. Really nice surprise as well. Um, so yeah, definitely curious to, to carry this on. Like I said, these videos are going to be ten tracks at a time. It's, it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of sitting here and this is the stuff. So, but um, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you are interested in seeing more of this, then tune back in in the next video. But subscribe if you want to see more content. Hit the like button if you like this video. Um, uh, links for Facebook and Twitter will be down below in the description as always. And until then, I will see you next time.